Raising your own food can seem like a never ending task, but it's so worth it when you look in the freezer and it's completely filled with nutritious food that you've grown yourself. No, no better feeling than that. Today I'm gonna to be processing another two liters of rabbits, which is probably gonna be about 14 rabbits, so time to get started. Another empty tractor. Good morning, everybody. Samantha and I are out uh, on our way to the garden. We have pretty much everything under control in the house as far as preserving the last two big harvests that we've done. So we're taking our boxes back out to the garden this morning to fill them up and bring them into the house so we can get started on preserving all of that stuff. Well, I'm gonna start with tomatoes, and uh, Samantha, will you start with okra? Mm -hmm. But do you have scissors? No, I have to go get scissors. <laughs> Look at that purple okra. Mom, this one is huge. Gorgeous. Our plants are nearing the end of their season, I guess. Looks like we have gotten hit by blight which is um, you know, basically killing the leaves from the ground up. But we still have a lot of tomatoes to ripen. If all of these ripen and we get them in the house put up, it will be a good thing. And I don't think we'll have to worry about needing a second crop off of these plants. So it'll be good. All done processing rabbits for the day I decided to just do one litter but it was a big litter it had nine in it Sarah needs my help in the garden because she said we are just overrun with tomatoes that need to be picked today so I'm gonna wrap this up and get these in the house they'll stay in the fridge for the next 24 hours then we'll shrink wrap them tomorrow and they'll go right into the freezer another good day on our journey to uh, get rid of some of the rabbits here on the homestead Well, this is a great tomato harvest, I would say. Almost almost five boxes of tomatoes. I was gonna keep on picking. My plan was to keep picking other things from the garden, but I feel like I need to get these into the house and get started on them. Most of what is still out in the garden will actually keep better on the stems of the plants, like the peppers and those kinds of things. So these guys um, need to go right now, but those guys out there will be happy to stay and and continue ripening and continue growing. So uh, I'm very pleased with this harvest of tomatoes. I can tell by this evening, we're gonna need to be back out there picking green beans. I was looking at the plants and they're just a ton of green beans to be picked again. Uh, we need to do that, like, like we said on the previous video, we need to do that either, you know, 
during the hot part of the day or in the evening, you can't pick green beans when the plants are wet in the morning with dew. Uh, it makes disease spread among the plants. So we need to get that done this evening so we can get those canned as well. I'm almost to our goal of 50 quarts of green beans. I counted on my list that we have canned 42 quarts of green beans. I'd like more than that, but I'd like a minimum of 50 quarts, and we're almost there. Yeah, our goal with just about everything is 50 of whatever it is so that we can have one a week of everything that we can. Uh, but it would definitely be nice to have 100 of each, uh, which, you know, will maybe our goal next year. We'll see. While Sarah's in the house canning today, my job is to uh, start getting the greenhouse cleaned up. Uh, ever since we stopped using it this spring for our plant starts and selling at the farmer's market, we really haven't done much in there. It's really, really hot in the greenhouse. Uh, we don't have anything growing or started in there this time of year, but soon we're gonna need to start thinking about what we're gonna have in there over winter and in the fall. And right now, uh, it's pretty, well, you can see the things that were in there are all dead. There's weeds growing up on the floor, so this fall we're going to actually rake out all of the wood chips that we had in there and then put down the same weed paper that we have in the garden. So hopefully next year we won't get into the same situation with the weeds. But uh, my job today is just to get it cleaned up and get it back under control so we can start using it again as the weather starts to cool down in the fall. We're gonna try to save all of this uh, potting mix and reuse it, at least for the plants that we're gonna keep for ourselves. It's a big investment and I hate to just throw it all away. I'm hoping that all of these little fine roots that are in here will just break down once we you know, wet this back down and let it soak. So I think it'll be fine. I have the house all to myself right now. It's actually kind of a weird, weird feeling. Samantha is at a friend's house and Grace, our older daughter, has marching band camp this week. Kevin ran to the store and then is gonna be picking up both of the girls. It's actually really unusual for Kevin and I not to be together. We spend almost all day every day together and uh, we really like it a lot of people tell us that they don't know what they would do if they had to spend every moment with their spouse but we really enjoy it i much prefer a house full of my family grilled chicken with our home raised chicken tonight It's getting to be dusk and last time I was out here when I was taking the uh, food off the grill for dinner I saw all of the guineas heading over toward their uh, a pen where we raised them now last night they didn't go back there on their own uh, to roost for the night uh, I had to go out after dark and uh, catch them or kind of chase them in there to show them that we still want them to go in there at night but tonight I saw them all heading over that way so let's go see if they're actually gonna head in, see if it only took one night to teach them where to go. Well, they're definitely hanging out right outside, which is a good sign. Yeah, they're gonna go in. I mean, 
Yeah, they're headed in. Well, that is definitely a good sign that they've learned where to go to be safe at night. This about wraps up another day on the homestead. It's been a long, hot day. Sarah's still in the kitchen canning right now. I almost got the greenhouse done, but I'm going to have to finish it up tomorrow. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, homesteading is a 24-7 kind of lifestyle. Uh, if you're interested in doing it, it's a rewarding life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber of our channel yet, now is the perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists, we thank you so much. You come back every day, five days a week. We put out videos Tuesday through Saturday. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless.